Hey everybody, welcome back to Pop Views, where we talk about movies, and today we are going to be reviewing a couple of uh, movies that are currently streaming on uh, Netflix, and uh, the first one is called uh, The First Summoning, and the other one is called uh, uh, White Chamber. Uh, they were both uh, put out in 2018. But hey, before we get into that, um, I want to mention that we have a parent channel here on YouTube. Um, and if you're into the paranormal or UFOs, aliens, cryptids, that kind of stuff, you're going to definitely want to check that out. I'm going to put a uh, link to that right over Ralph's head right about now. And um, But definitely check it out if you're into that kind of stuff. And we also have a uh, group over at YouTube uh, that's connected with that uh, YouTube channel, and it's called the Black Lotus Discussion Group. Um, so definitely if you are into this kind of stuff, definitely check us out. I think you're really going to enjoy it. Uh, anyway, so let's get on with this today. The first one we're going to talk about today is... Uh, kind of a found footage uh, 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 film called First Summoning, and it's a horror film, uh, much in the vein of uh, uh, the Blair Witch Project. And you know how hard I am on movies. Um, and But this one was particularly bad. I mean, I don't. first of all, I don't like those found footage movies very much. I really don't. Um, See, I loved Blair Witch. Now, Blair Witch was decent. But most of these things that I've found out there are just really not very good. This one was particularly bad, I thought. Yeah. Um, the director was Raymond Wood, um, and it stars uh, Haley Lovett and uh, Jason McDonald, uh, Teddy Cole. Um, here's the thing. I, I, I can't rate this more than just maybe a one. And the reason I'll give it a one is because I think the concept was good. And I thought that the acting overall was good. Now, um, uh, uh, I think it was Jason McDonald is the one who stars in this. No, he was he played the pastor. No, okay. Well, who was the? Who, that was, uh, was the, Teddy Cole. Teddy Cole was it? He was he he, uh, he was really <laughs> just bad. I mean, it was he, like reading off a cue card. Well, and beyond that, he he overacted everything. Every line was. I mean, he was like William Shatner. You know what I mean? It just like. Uh, yeah, but it didn't work for him. So what this movie is about, it's about these uh, y these young people who are uh, budding um, film documentarians. And they go out to this little town. I think it was in like Arkansas or something like yeah. that. And um, they are investigating this uh, factory there that's abandoned. And uh, supposedly it's haunted, you know, by demons and that kind of thing. And so what they're trying to do is they're trying to document all of this and, and talk to the townspeople. Um, yeah, supposedly if you go there, you can uh, recite a certain poem that you can get your wishes to come true. Right, right, right. On a certain day. I think it was yeah. like October, October 6th. 6th, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. I just, like I said, I can't rate this more than a one because it was just... Horribly written. I, I I I won't go as low as a one. I'll go maybe a two or three. Will you? Yeah, because I like you said. I thought the concept was pretty good. Um, I didn't mind the way it was done for the found footage. It was just the acting to me got me more than anything. Especially yeah. especially the guy who played Mark Teddy, whatever his name is. Yeah, called. right, right, right. Right. That that just it, when the main character who does most of the talking is horrible at acting, it kept bringing me right out of the film over and over and over again. You know, one of the things that really bugged me about the thing was that uh, the sound quality was awful. I mean, it, it was that crackling all the way through. And and granted, I mean, you would have you wouldn't have the best sound quality from you know uh, documentary. Film equipment, you know, uh, but it was really bad. It was like it was like somebody had placed a plastic bag over the microphone. You know what I mean? I mean, it, and it just it, it just kind of took me out of the, the element. And you know, here I am talking about this, and our sound quality isn't the best on this. But we're just a YouTube channel. We're not trying to be, be a feature film. You know, I mean, but this was yeah. definitely uh, done by people who 
who have not done a lot of movies, it seemed like. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I did notice that on the uh, IMDb page, most of the actors uh, don't have even a picture by their name. Mm. Not surprising. So yeah. it's a bunch of nobodies, yeah. and unfortunately it shows. Yeah, it really does. But, yeah, I, I, I don't know if I could go up to a three on this, but, you yeah. know. But, yeah, now, yeah, as far as I'm concerned, don't. It's not, it's not worth watching. Bother. Yeah, it is not I mean, worth watching. Yeah, yeah, predictable um, on top of it. But uh, anyway, the uh, the other movie that we're going to be talking about here today is White Chamber. Uh, this is another one that, like I said, it came out in 2018 and it just uh, started streaming on uh, Netflix. Um, but anyway, what did you think of it? Well. Especially after when when we went to watch this, I told him this better be a good movie because if it's another bad one, you're not going to be allowed to pick movies anymore. <laughs> and unfortunately, I love this movie. <laughs> I thought it, I don't, wouldn't say loved it. It's not like I'm going to be my, one of my all time favorites, but it was really well done. It's about a woman who wakes up in a white full white chamber, and her captive is torturing her to get information. That's about really all I think I'd like well, to say. We, but what else can we say without well, we too can much say away? that the whole thing takes place after um, a civil uh, war, a civil war in Britain, and um, it. I, 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 I liked the idea that they were talking. They, they're basing this whole thing on like Brexit. Right and the racism that's going on here in America, America right? It, too. It's very time timely. Yeah, definitely. It, it, it's it's really makes you think. Um, the acting was very good. The uh, editing and the directing. I, I I don't really have much bad to say about this movie. I don't either. Um, I thought the acting was great. Uh, the directing was fantastic, um, and uh, the director was uh, Paul Rashid, by the way. Um, but yeah, it was well written. Um, I thought the production quality was great. You know, I mean, it had some nice twists in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I, I I thought it was interesting though because I was looking the uh, information up about this, and I went to uh, IMDb, and the users there rated it as an average of four four point three. Yeah, I don't understand what what you know. Now, a minute we went into this totally blind. It just looked like an interesting film. Mm -hmm. um, I think that helps going into it blind because I think if you know too much on this one, it it would spoil some of the twists in it. Mm -hmm. But to give it a four point three, even if you knew some of the twists, it was just so well done of a movie. I thought. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and even Rotten Tomatoes users rated it as a uh, uh, twenty one percent. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'd give this one a seven and a half. I I would give it probably a seven. Yeah, I I thought it, it means, was a decent. And then from us, that means it's worth watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's not going to be one of my favorite movies of all time or anything like that, but it was definitely worth the time I put into the movie. It kept me entertained. It kept me thinking a lot during the whole thing. Now, granted, it was kind of slow in the beginning. Um, well, I mean, well, sort of, because, you know, I mean, not, it, it starts off with her getting tortured, so not necessarily slow, but then it flashes back, and that's when it kind of gets slow a little bit. You know, I mean, and so I can see where people would be irritated by that. But come on, you know, every movie is slow. You need the game. backstory. Yeah, you need and the, that's the what character build up and all that. Yeah, you know? I, I think it was well done. Yeah, I, I would I would recommend watching this movie. If you have nothing to do and you're looking for a good movie, this one I think would fit. fit. I can see a sequel coming out of this. Oh, I could too. I, I don't, I doubt they'll ever do it, but. It know. kind of reminded me of Cube a little bit, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, especially in the beginning. Uh, it totally goes its own direction, though. So that's what, what was nice about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I liked it. I thought it was good. Uh, uh, Shauna McDonald, who stars in it, was really good. I, I, thought, I agree, too. You know, so. I uh, agree. But anyway, yeah. I, I'd watch it again. Yeah, yeah. Just to see, now that I know what it's about, just to see what else I missed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. But uh, anyway, let's get out of here. Sounds good. Uh, again, folks, check us out over at uh, uh, Black Lotus. Uh, I'll, you know, I'll drop a link in the description as well, and I think you really enjoy it if you're into that kind of stuff. Um, but uh, anyway, until next time, thanks for watching.